All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the Singer Park in Chiang Rai, Thailand, for the Ultra Trail Chiang Rai, the Thailand Super Trail in the 2019 Asia Trail Master Championship. We have already had the excitement of the 125k mail race won by John Ellis in a fantastic, ferocious battle against Hisashi Kitamura with Milton Amat and Sukrit Kayun in the background as fantastic players. But now we're going to witness the arrival of Wilson Singin from Sabah as the winner of the ultimate 230 that's correct 230 kilometers of running in the Shanghai in, in the Chiang Rai nature reserve and beyond Wilson Singin is a youngster from Sabah he is, belongs to the team Yuglo Malaysia along with Milton Amat and uh, Hisashi Kitamura their coach is Stephen Ong the 2017 Asia Trail Master Champion and Wilson Singin is a protege who has had a very uh, up and down season, can we say, and the down part was of course the Moon 100, where approximately two kilometers before the finish line, he was leading the race together with Milton Amat, but then struck down on the beach by a heat stroke. And um, he was admitted to hospital for two consecutive nights and suffered from incredible hallucinations. Apparently, Wilson singing was quite uh, lucky to come out of there I mean in, in still good condition at the end of the day I mean he recovered entirely but it was a very scary moment for this youngster from uh, from Kota Kinabalu he belongs to the crowd of Milton Amat also uh, Sumping and uh, David Simpat and uh, we see a light now in the background and that must be him so it's already dark of course in Chiang Rai in the meantime um, Wilson singing and the others in the 230 kilometers there were 90 six starters I believe at the end of the day there were a few more than 100 registrants but there's always a few people who don't turn up but uh, of the uh, more than 90 uh, people who started the race um, there's still quite a lot in action and Wilson singing has actually been quite dominant uh, at least in the second part of the race because in the beginning of the race it was uh, from Singapore it was Abi a very experienced runner from uh, Singapore ultra runner from Singapore Abi who made his debut in the Asia Trail Master um, series and he was leading the race initially together with Ruth Wilson already um, and then Tomohiro Mitsukoshi of course very well known the number three from the Asia Trail Master Championship last year um, and still in the running for this year's championship as a matter of fact even though a little bit in the background perhaps because Tomohiro Mitsukoshi has had a difficult season also a bit up and down with uh, very good performances um, mixed with injury related, um, yeah, let's say, disappointments and even DNFs like Mantra Sema Challenge. But Tomohiro Mitsukoshi at the beginning of this race and before the start was in a very good mood and he showed that immediately by going full on um, and he was actually in the lead for a long time by himself. But then he started to suffer from, um, from problems, from um, stomach bugs and what have you, the typical ultra runner and trail runner problem and Tomohiro Mitsukoshi was forced to slow down but to his credit and it's also not the first time of course Tomohiro Mitsukoshi is still in the race but he will not finish higher than fourth or fifth we will see you later on he is still he still has a way to go but Wilson singing is now coming towards us Wilson singing from team Yuglo Malaysia after this uh, debacle in the Moon 100 where he was hospitalized, he came back with a victory in a candidate race in Labuan Island in the Labuan Bird Eco Park. And he was also good in TMBT 50K the week after. He's one of the biggest talents in Malaysia and especially here in Sabah. And it's fantastic to see him winning this race because this is a big statement. He's a bit slower than Jack Lanante. How are you doing, Wilson? Really full of energy, really powerful. How do you feel at the moment? Uh, I'm happy. <laughs> 
You're, you're happy. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm happy with you too. How is your body at the moment? Uh, only blister on my foot. Blister. <laughs> only blister. And I can't help. How about your muscle? Uh, still good. Yeah. Can you go another hundred? No. <laughs> Wilson, a few words in too soon for your local people in Sabah. Okay. And now, what uh, is coming? One more is coming. Uh, oh, you are happy. You are happy. You are happy. You are that was uh, Wilson singing, winner of the ultimate 232nd edition here in Chiang Rai. Fantastic statement. He leaves behind some very established runners. And I think Wilson singing will be one of the big protagonists in the 2020 Asia Trail Master Championship Series. <laughs> We will give him some time to recover, but as, as a matter of fact, we have another highlight coming up. Um, we just had another finisher as well on the 125k, but the winner of the female 125k is also approaching the finish line. And that's important because that's um, one of the contenders for the Asia Trail Master Championship title in the women's. And it's Christine Lo, the pocket rocket from Malaysia, now living in Singapore, is leading the race and is going to win this race as well, ahead of, normally speaking, Fredlin Alberto. The two were running together for quite a long time, Christine Lo and uh, Fredlin Alberto, initially also joined, or actually preceded by the Filipino lady, the up-and-coming lady, Cecil Wael, until Cecil Wael also, just like Tomohira Mitsukoshi, had belly cramps and had to slow down. Cecil Wael still in the race, at the moment we do not really know where she will be, and I think Christine Lo is indeed finishing here right now. Fredlin Alberto is not in the back. She was for a long time chasing her by 10 15 minutes, but now the gap is uh, definitely half an hour or more. How is your body at the moment? So along the way, did you like take over many people, or you are on the lead all the time from the start to the uh, uh, to the end? Uh, yeah, I think Fedelin uh, took me uh, about. Yeah. yeah. I think I went to uh, uh, make some business. In <laughs> ah, okay. She catch up with me already. อ๋อก็จริงๆเฟดเดลีนนะคะก็แซงกันมาก่อนแล้วก่อนประมาณกิโลที่ oh, this is your second champion from the moon um, no, from the Mad Jam Chiang Mai you are the champion and now the third race you are the champion again congratulations this is Christine Lo that's correct, Christine Law, second ATM race victory in two months' time. And you're also in the new number five in the championship ranking, which opens perspective for the championship title, maybe. After you're now number five in the Asia Three Master Championship. So that opens perspectives for the overall title at the end of uh, TNF Malaysia. I believe you will also still run uh, Panoramic, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Christine Lo, uh, just very quick about the race. So you were together with Fredin Alberto. We saw you there at the CP5. 
Um, but then you uh, got you dropped Alberto again, right? You were faster than her. Yeah, I dropped her and down there. But actually, along the way, I lost. I lost about uh, 500 meters. Yeah. Uh, near the cornfield. So I lost. But I mean, the best time. Yeah. So by the time I got there, she was ahead of me. Okay, a very impressive uh, victory, Christine, because you were in the lead most of the time and you had Alberto in your pocket, so to speak. So, yeah. Yeah. But you're here, and I think your finishing time is about 20 hours, so that's very good. Congratulations, Christine. See you again soon. Christine Law from Malaysia, the second Malaysian winner in a matter of five minutes after Wilson Singin won the ultimate 230. Christine Law wins the 125 classic race here in Chiang Rai. Um, the Pocket Rockets, as she's known. And uh, it's her second ATM race victory of the season after Ultra Trail Chiang Mai in, at the end of August, which was a very, very wet race. And in that race, she passed the same Frederick Alberto in the last kilometers. But today, she was clearly the faster one. And uh, as I mentioned uh, briefly, Christine is now also number five in the Isla Trail Master Championship ranking with only four races. So she still has a fifth race. And that fifth race will normally be Ultra Trail Panoramic. Because Christine Law, just like a few other runners, like Frederick Alberto, for example, also like Jessica Lintanga and a few others, uh, focuses on the four trails talent. And here we have Wilson and Christine together. A nice, nice image for, nice image for trail running in Malaysia. Wilson singing, winner of Ultimate 230. And Christian Law, winner of the Women's 125 Classic Race. All right, and I think that's it for the time being. We're waiting for Fridolin Alberto, and we're also waiting for the winner of the female Ultimate 230, and uh, that will be China's Xie Wenfei, Xie Wenfei from Guangzhou, who is uh, extremely fast and actually is not too far behind, probably roughly one hour behind Wilson Singin, and that says a lot, Xie Wenfei from China. We will be back when she approaches the finish line as well as when uh, Fridolin Alberto comes into the finish line. And this, by the way, is the number six in the 125k race for men from Thailand. And that should be the number three from last year, as a matter of fact, Konsiri. So stay tuned on this Asia Trail Master Facebook page for the arrival of Xie Wenfei and Fridolin Alberto within the next hour.